Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the Airbnb crash. So stay tuned. I think you're going to like what I have for you in today's video. Airbnb sees a major decline in revenue. So across the board, all across the country, uh, Airbnb have seen a decline in revenue. And uh, I pulled up a map for you guys right here. And let's take a look at this map, okay? So these are all of the major cities where you will see uh, more listings for Airbnb, okay? So let's take a look at Las Vegas. Las Vegas has 9,384 listings. These are just Airbnb listings, okay? You take a look at LA. LA has 20,916 uh, short-term rentals. San Diego, 11,689. Austin, Texas, 9,845. Panama City, this is uh, 10,769. Uh, Kissimmee, Florida, that's uh, 47,875,000. Miami has 11,063. Atlanta has 11,257. Uh, New York has 37,979 listings. Davenport, Florida, 21,406 listings. Okay, so these are all short uh, term listings that are listed on Airbnb in these major cities. This, these are a lot of listings uh, for those cities. Okay, so if you're having a hard time finding a rental property or if you're having a hard time finding a property, this is pretty much the effects of uh, Airbnb. So what does this mean for Airbnb? Do I think the Airbnb will crash? I don't think it will crash. That's just my personal opinion. Take it for a grain of salt. Okay. But if you look at all of the current markets and if you look at the New York, the LA, Las Vegas, and Austin, you look at those areas. And if you look across the country, there are more listings on Airbnb than there are on the market. And this could pose a problem, but the problem is to the people advantage that have been looking for homes for sale that can't find homes and the market is just so competitive. So what I gather from this is that a lot of people who went to those major markets and purchased uh, properties, it has gotten uh, highly competitive. Airbnb in the short term rental game as a whole. OK, so if you went to those markets and you purchase houses, and now you're seeing a decline in revenue, then you probably want to go back and think about your strategy. OK, and your strategy could be, I don't know, put some more uh, something else enticing in your short term rental or you may want to target nurses or, or what have you. And I also feel like a lot of people who went to those areas and bought houses, they bought more than one house. You got to remember back at, during the pandemic, interest rates were very low. So a lot of these owners are sitting on homes that have a 3% interest rate, 4% interest rate. So do I think that this will crash the market? No, that's just my personal opinion. But I also feel like the people who have these homes will probably sit on these homes. And it's a strong possibility that they could put these homes back out on the market for rent. So if you notice, a lot of people ran to those major markets and those major markets got oversaturated. So if you're looking to get into the short-term rental game, Airbnb or Verbo, you may want to consider the smaller markets. I have an Airbnb in a smaller market and my Airbnb stays booked up because listen, there are less uh, penalties and fees. There are less uh, headaches in these areas and they're easier. And in some of these areas, you don't even need a license to operate an Airbnb. See, if you go to these major markets, they're going to be uh, more requirements. And also you talking about property taxes as well. So this is just some of the things you may want to consider before you start Airbnb. So overall, I do not think Airbnb will pose a threat to the housing crash. There are currently 144 million housing units and only 1.2 million short term rentals. OK, and so that's between Verbo and Airbnb. And so that's less than 1%. So I do not think that this will crash the market. This is not like how uh, the foreclosures that they flooded the market with over 2.6 million uh, foreclosures, uh, I think that I recall, um, that they put out into the market years ago, okay? So I don't think this will flood the market. I don't think this this will cause a, uh, a major issue 
uh, with housing. But what it does cause is competitiveness in the market. I appreciate you guys for tapping into the YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.